What's up, guys? Twan Biz. We're back. We back. Uh, what are we doing? Um, well, here's one. Um, um, so PC Engine, um, Sapphire, Gingo, whatever, Fuchetso, Sapphire, right? So, again, I don't have the... This is some kind of bootleg. It's not the PC works, though, because when I look at it, it doesn't have that, but I know it's not real. I only paid, like, I paid, like, 40 bucks for it, so... If you know the background on the Sapphire, you almost don't even want to buy it <laughs> online, because it's more than likely a fake. Um, it's probably, I mean, I, last time I looked, it was a while ago, it was, it was like, going for, like, 1500 bucks. Um... But, you know, there's a whole web page dedicated to the fake. I guess somehow something got released. PC Work, PCE Works, if you know them, they're controversial, kind of, in the industry, right? Um, a lot of their games are basically, they look like they're almost the real thing, right? Luckily, they do put some stuff on the disc, but, like, the boxes and the artwork and stuff, like, a lot of that stuff could probably pass for the real thing, which is... You know, and I guess something happened with this. I don't know the website. I haven't looked at it in a while, but something happened. You can look at the, you can look at like the ring of the of the CD, and there's like some numbers that are supposed to be there. And if it's there, then you know it's real. And if it's not there, like this one has some like weird things. You know, it, I know it's not real. You can see it's got some, and and so. I think I paid like 40 bucks for the disc. You know, it looks like real though. If you look at the disc, it's like, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Um, <clears throat> so what's up with this game? Well, basically, I don't think they could do anything more with the system than this game. This probably is, the, you know, we talk about pushing hardware limits, whatever, right? For the PC Engine, CD, Super CD, whatever, arcade, right? Like all the shit, right? This is the this is the game that would you you'd say would push it to the limit. And again, this is a system that came out in 1987, or you know, late 87, early 88, right? So we're talking stuff that <clears throat> this game was. I think you know it has a lot of stuff that kind of looks like Donkey Kong Country, a lot of that Silicon Graphics um, stuff that they were doing at the time, but. You know, it was their attempt, and so, you know, I don't know if you know, there's certain games that, so actually, this is the real deal, this is the real thing, this is the arcade card, so there's only a handful of games, but this pushed the, you know, the RAM through the roof on the thing, and so it allowed for a lot of things. You actually, what it is, it's a hue card, essentially, so you actually have to put it in, so even if you have, like, I have a Duo R, which has basically the Super CD, so if you don't even have a Duo R, like, there's there's the Hue card that were required to get you to even play Super CDs. The Duo R can play the Super CDs without anything, but it needs this chunky Hue, this card to basically play any of the arcade games, arcade CD-ROMs. So, but this game, it's a shooter, vertical shooter, sure you've seen it if you know watch this channel you've seen it but it's it's pretty wild um you know so you gotta put the hue card in here and then put the disc luckily you know the pc engine doesn't have any kind of copyright protection or anything so you can just <clears throat> oh, i gotta get over here and turn the freaking thing on Turn the master monitor on here. Oh, can I get there? I don't know what's the thing. Oh. oh, I can't quite reach it. It's not breaking in here. I'm an idiot. It was on the left side. I don't know why I thought it was on that side. <clears throat> anyway. Alright, so... Uh, 
How's that looking? Eh, it's looking pretty solid. Huh? Four by three. What if I turn the light off? What's that deal? Whatever, I should be fine that way. Some audio. Alright. Soundtrack is wild too. <laughs> that's, a, that's another thing that's great about this game. The <clears throat> Seiriki, 1992, the Yeah, copy protection on the, at least for the CDs. <clears throat> the Hue cards either, I don't think. I mean, you could emulate them. Or, well, not really replicate them, but I know you have that. What is it? The, uh, I forget the name, but there's the. <coughs> Chris, 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 or something, right? They have the chip, the cute card chip you can pr program games on. Look at this dinosaur. Oh, shit. Alright. Alright, listen to the soundtrack. I mean, I'm sure you've heard it, but. Good lord. Ninety-five Hudson Soft, this was their kinda like their their Sayonara right here. <laughs> Sapphire White, 18. Alright, hold on. Let's go. What happened here? Alright, we're playing. <coughs> that was weird with no sound. No sound. Wait a minute. Something happened. What happened to the sound? What the fuck was that? Where'd the sound go? <clears throat> Alright, well. Let's start it again. Try to play a little bit so it'll be easy. Oops. Look at the graphics. <laughs> oh. I'm 
played a little bit. I forgot about that part. <laughs> Kind of slow, that's kind of cool. It's just not, it's not as smooth as you'd like, to be honest. You kind of move like a tank. That's not a big game. This is, why is this on the PC engine? It's basically better than a Super Nintendo game. Crazy fucking 3D thing. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this thing. <clears throat> this game is just a very visual, just onslaught. They just, they just were like, fuck it, we're going all out right in it. Look at this thing when it comes up through here, like, what? Holy mo, I mean, that's just so crazy. It still looks great. Oh. It really does look great, doesn't it? Guys, yeah, we actually gotta continue. Here we go. Whoa! That wasn't too bad. <clears throat> oh, he's not dead. This is the fucking PC engine blasting that right there. What? Wow. <laughs> wow. Swan song. They just fucking like fuck it. We're going crazy rock soundtrack like fucking Moors of Thunder. And then we're just going fucking just everything's just boss mode, just stupid graphics. Everything's just gonna be ridiculous <laughs> to the fucking max. This is nuts. Seriously, I can't believe they pulled this shit. Look at this fucking thing. Look at me. I don't even think the Super Nintendo can do fucking some of this shit. <clears throat> that looks nuts! On the soundtrack. I gotta put it in.
contract's out of bounds, so I'm just going to just Everything is just insane. <laughs> Seriously, they spent a lot of time on this one. This was their swan song right here. 1995, 88, seven years. Good time. It's well with, it's well with something crazy, right? You move like a tank, though. That's the only can complain I have. I wish I could move like I was in Dead Moon. Dead Moon is so tight. Spriggan, too. Spriggan moves stuff nice, too. Even the vertical one. The first one. Look at this. What the fuck? I like this little pocket. It's dangerous for you to come. What the hell is this? Very powered out. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought I was good there. I didn't even think I'd get this far. I thought I was dead. <laughs> Karen, I'm on easy, so, you know, give me... Okay, I'm not doing that well, but... You know what? That song was really good. What the fuck is that? Whoa! Overlay there was nuts! Oh, this game is nuts. Uh, oh, look at this. What the fuck? Oh, direct hit. Oh. Bye bye. Oh, I should have picked the first two, not the second two. The first two, I'm gonna vote, hey, these two. The second two, I'm gonna my tanks. This one I can actually probably do something with.
What the fuck is this shit? Who cares? It just looks wild. <laughs> Whoa! I don't think I've ever. What in the world is this thing? Like a crab. Ah, I was doing pretty good. Alright, guys. Sapphire. It's a pretty fucking good game. Check it out with the bootleg. You gotta have the arcade card though, so but other than that, it's a, it's pretty fun. I'm at. See ya.